Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, 24 May, end of the third week here. Interesting day yesterday. Um, obviously, Euro Yen uh, worked out pretty well. Euro Dollar did not work out as well. Uh, and equities took a slide left, which of course suits us. Uh, we're in trading mode here um, on the equity side. We will be selling the stuff that we bought yesterday between 40 and 50. Uh, maybe even we'll start selling it around 30. Uh, looks pretty bad. Uh, and it looks like we're going to head down through 2800. And it might even be today. You're going to see a lot of uh, market analysts tell you today that on Fridays, uh, the market rarely goes down, which has been the case this year. But, you know, we had the one Trump tweet saying that the trade war is getting better, and this was a seven handle bounce. So we went from this bar here, which was a 60 handle bounce. Uh, this bar here, which was a 40 handle bounce on little trade tweets. Now we have a seven handle bounce. Uh, so time is running out. NASDAQ 7300, massively important. This is now just a, just an old fashioned break trade. I think you can sell 7290s, you can ignore. Um, the 72.68 low and just basically say if we're back through 7300 today um, you want to smack the pony there so trading on the short side in equities uh, continues to be a theme here as far as currencies are concerned some weird shits going on here this is a massively bullish uh, bullish bar in, in euro if you acknowledge the fact that we don't really know what's going to happen with these elections in um, in the EU and if you acknowledge the fact that only 35 or 40 percent of the population is going to vote on this and the power of the EU is maybe less uh, than people think which is sort of the other side of the argument then the populists take control EU cracks etc etc um, those are both sides of the argument but now the bars are telling us either the market is very very short or the story is now there's going to be a mass exodus from US equities globally this will create dollar selling um, not super clear what has, what drove this yesterday I got a lot of questions from from bankers and salespeople saying what are you seeing Have you, are, are you involved in this and and I was just like, no, I'm not involved in this. We were short euros, uh, short euro yen. Uh, we stopped uh, euro dollar. We're still short euro yen. But uh, this looks important now. And, and price is above 111.90. There's some fresh air there now. This is, um, this is, you know, close your eyes. Take away the euro dollar moniker on this chart. This is very, very bullish after quite a few down weeks months uh, almost you know years this thing has been going down uh, the news in Europe is terrible uh, and yet price is here this this has all the makings of catching the market with their with their pants down so you can break trade this 111.90 uh, we are going to just stay away from the euro today and just sort of sit and settle and see how things look. But it looks in general like the dollar is turning. And if you think the dollar is turning, I think cable also um, is interesting today. Retail sales, perfect doji. Again, this looks like a turn. Um, the pure technicians are going to get involved through 126.84. Um, what could I say? Dollar looks like it's turning. Boons do not say, boons do not say that. Boons are telling us there should be more euro pressure. This 167.40 is a very, very key level. 
This will take uh, yields closer to the all-time low of minus 20 basis points. Triple top up there now. Um, we'll have to see. I have to see what Boons are telling us. Let's take a look at this Aussie. We've cut our shorts now um, this morning uh, before this video. It looks like the dollar is turning to us. It looks like uh, Aussie is also going to turn. So we're just going to take the money. Um, did a little bit of trading between 60 and 90 here. But now we're we're concerned about the big dollar turn and the fact that we just couldn't break this 6665 level. Everyone saw that Westpac is looking for three cuts and so that took us down uh, from the 05 area back down to 80. Uh, but this looks like it wants to turn. So we got Euro looks like it wants to turn, Sterling looks like it wants to turn, Dollar Swiss got smashed, Dollar Yen got smashed. Um, dollar looks like it wants to turn. Be careful. Let's go to this old dog, dollar cad. Mid range here still. Could not break these highs. If oil um, stabilizes, dollar cad lower, we still like dollar cad lower basically because the fundamental story. The fundamentals in Canada look a lot better than almost anywhere on the globe. Uh, and we have these two bars here where we tried the short side, everyone got squeezed, and now yesterday's bar was purely oil. Oil obviously collapsed 5% yesterday, uh, and will be a sell on rally today. But if it consolidates on a move back up to sort of $59.50, $60, um, dollar CAD looks like a good short. We're square dollar CAD. Basically, what we have left now is we're short Euro Yen. We're going to be selling stocks and we're going to be looking to get short dollars either through sterling um, or dollar CAD. But probably going to be sterling today. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Let's look at this Euro Yen here. This is a super interesting point now, 122.10. Yesterday, uh, we got down to 14. This is just old-fashioned break trade. You can actually probably just sell it at 98, 121.98. Uh, and this will be sort of just a massive risk on. We led by dollar-yen. Um, and this will mean dollar-yen is attacking the 109 level, uh, which could easily happen uh, on a dollar flurry. Uh, dollar-yen will have a much easier time going left than euro dollar will have going right so if you do want to be short euros uh, which intrinsically we do um, euro yen is your better horse than euro dollar take a look at gold here if the dollar weakens and its risk off gold needs to go higher the chart doesn't tell us too much. A lot of people will have drawn this line here. Um, so it's worth noting. Still very far away, 1300. But triple bottom here in gold. Gold looks, looks like it's set to go higher. This is another way to get short dollars without getting involved in sterling, which can be a pain in the ass. Uh, dollar CAD, which can be oil driven, but which is more euro dollar driven than oil driven or euro which you know the story is very negative and you're just trading flow anyway three ways to get short the dollar there we're short euro yen we're going to be selling high ones in stocks we're going to continue to trade it until it gets through till it gets down through the 200 day which is 2770 um 2776 so this might happen today, people. Uh, so, you know, get your rest in the morning. I think it's going to be a quiet morning. All we have are basically retail sales out of the UK and then CBI out of the UK. But in the US, we have durable goods. And we have a Friday after a very spooky Thursday. So it should be good trading uh, the New York session today. With that, I leave you with 
best of luck and make some dough. You deserve it. Ciao.